Okay, welcome back and to another video for 11 plus maths by Arts Education Limited. Okay, the topic today is perimeter and area. I'm pretty sure you've seen this before in primary school in your learning. So what I would like you to do, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to ask you to write down all the formulas you know for to find the area of various shapes and tell me what's perimeter. Okay. Time to check and learn guys. Perimeter is the length all around the shape. What do we do to find the perimeter or to calculate the perimeter is we add all the sides which make a shape. So all we need to know for perimeter is length of all the sides. Okay, area of a rectangle or a square. The shapes are rectangle or a square. What do we do to find area of these two shapes? We multiply the side with the side in a rectangle the two sides will be length and the width and in square two sides will be just the two sides because square all the sides are same area of the triangle the basic formula we use is base times height and then divide that by two so we need to know guys we need to know the base and the height if it's a right angle triangle it's like this if it is a triangle of any other type so it that would be the base at the bottom and this is the vertical height remember height is always the vertical height okay parallelogram it is just the base times height okay just we don't divide by twos so parallelogram shape is this it's a tilted rectangle not correct but that's for the commonly used language in um, primary school trapezium or trapezoid guys this has got four it's got two parallel sides which is this and this or it has got two parallel sides which is this and this and how do we find area of this trapezium parallel sides are labeled as a and b Okay, so we're going to do what? You're going to be adding the parallel sides. Okay, half of that and then times by the height. And the height is the distance between the parallel sides. This is the height for that trapezium. And if this is 90 degree, that's the height of that trapezium. So what do we do, guys? You do half of A plus B and times the height. All right, guys, now we move on to next stage when you get a shape which is a compound shape. Compound shape means a shape which is made up of more than one of these shapes. Okay, and we work out area and parameter of the compound shape. I'm going to draw the shape for you now. Okay, so this is the first question. That's a compound shape I've drawn for you. And we're going to find the parameter and the area of this compound shape. All right, guys, for perimeter, what do we need to do? We need to add all the sides all around it. So I've got this 8, I've got this 10, I've got this 5. I'm missing these two lengths. So my first priority, people, is to find these two lengths. Okay, if the, this whole horizontal line at the bottom is 10 and the top is 4, so this is going to be 10 take away 4, which is 6. And if this vertical line is 8 and this side is 5, so that's going to be 8. This is 5, that's going to be 8, take away 5, which is 3. So perimeter, I would advise you people to start, mark a point on one corner of the shape and go in one direction. Let's say we're going towards right. So it is 4, add 3, add 6, add 5, add 10. So then add eight and you go back to where you started from. So you know you've done everything. So that is the parameter of this, which is 18, 23, 29, 32, 36, whatever units is meters. Let's say we do all the units in meters. Okay, how do we find the area of the shape, people? We need to split a compound shape into two or more shapes of these known types. Okay, and this is easier. Either I can split it this way to have this rectangle and this rectangle, or I split it this way to have this rectangle and this rectangle. It doesn't matter, so I'll just 
choose to do this this way okay where this is section a and that's section b so for section a the area is that's a rectangle the shape is four here and eight there so area is eight times four 32 meters square okay for shape b the rectangle is this and this side is six over here that's five so it's six times five equals 30 meters square so the area of the shape would be area of the whole shape is add them two together that gives you 62 meters square okay so wait for me to draw another shape for doing another type Right, people, so the second shape, I've made it slightly more harder. So we need to find the perimeter first, okay? Let's say I start from here, going towards the right, that's a 10. Then that's an 8, and then that's a 3. Then I do not know the length of this side. Let's see, the total here is 8, and this part is 6, so remaining is 2. Okay, plus 2, that's a 3. And come back this way this is four then go down that way that is three and this is six people we read um i wrote all of them add them together the it raised 39 i think centimeters okay now if we're looking to find the area of the shape people we need to divide the shape into various parts okay so i will i can divide this into a triangle here let's call it a then a small rectangle here, let's call it B, then a big rectangle here, let's call it C. Okay, I'm sure you can find area of B and C yourself. Can you do that for me? Then we work together on area of A. Okay, so the area of C is, um, um, this is actually B and this is C. So area of the C is 10 times six that's 60 so area of this um, b is um two times three which is six now we come on to area of the triangle the area of the triangle is base times the height do i know anything of these two people the height is two so height equals two how much is the base this length is 10 this is a three and a three so that has to be four so base equals four so area of the triangle is base times height divided by 2, the answer is 4. So the total area of the shape is 60 plus 6 plus 4 is 70 centimeters squared. Okay, and then I'm going to do one last question, some harder shape again. All right, guys, this is a shape I've made for you now. I've divided into many 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 parts so perimeter I would like you to do it yourself we'll see I've given you this side I've given you this side I've given you this side. what does these two dashes mean by the way that this is an isosceles triangle if that's five this is going to be five as well so you can work out the perimeter yourself then for the area let me just give you a hint guys you're going to be drawing a line here to get that as a triangle and then drawing a line here so get that as a trapezium okay and area of the trapezium is this and area of the triangle is this okay so you're going to be working out um, areas and perimeter of this shape i'll give you a chance try and work that out i'll pause the video then we will go through the answer together all right guys perimeter if you go from this point to the right side nine five five four 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 point three five four point one five twenty and fifteen and I think this comes out as 80.4 units. Units means if it's a centimeter, it will be staying a centimeter. If it's meters, it will be staying as meters. Okay. For the area part, let's divide them into um, rectangle A, the big one. This bottom rectangle B, trapezium C, and triangle D. All right, guys, can you work out um, the area and perimeter? area of the shape now we're splitting the shape into four parts and find area of each part separately okay so a is fairly simple 15 times 9 for b now you're going to figure it out this length of the rectangle and you can see this is 5 and this is 9 that's 4 okay so the total will have to be this is 
we're going to figure out this one as well 5 4 and 9 so this comes out as 7 okay so this total length is 11 so it will be 11 times 5 that's 55 so for C, which is a trapezium, it is the parallel side, 7 at 5 divided by 2 times by the height, and height is same as this, given over there, times by 4. So this is 12 divided by 2 is 6, 6 times 4 is 24. Okay, and for D now, it is a triangle. We need to find this base and this height, and this height is, as you can see, is 4, and this base is, height is 4, and base is five four nine and take away from 15 it is six so this is six times four divided by two that's 12. i guess the total area of the whole shape is we add all the four things together total area of the shape is 226 units square thank you this is how we do areas and parameters with compound shapes once again for perimeter of shapes you got to find out the missing lengths and for the areas of the shape, you need to know these standard formulas and use them, split the shape into various parts and use this formula to work out the area. Thank you very much. Enjoy learning. Bye.